to a beautiful facility, a phenomenal project for Broward County and the city of Miramar. I'm very honored to have you here today and then take the time out of your day. It's great to see the team from Aero Turbine here as well. You know, I've been in business all my life and it's great to be around businesses, uh, manufacturing companies, anybody doing things to help people get jobs. So, uh, Mike King, thank you very much, the CEO of Aero Turbine. Thank you very much for having me here. He's very focused on growing jobs for plant families, especially right here in Florida. Uh, I wish everybody at Aero Turbine continued success, but it looks like you don't need a lot of help. It looks like you're doing really well. It's companies like Aero Turbine that are creating jobs, which is the biggest thing we can do uh, in our economy, help families get back to work. Four years ago, when I started running for office, the state had lost 800,000 jobs in four years. The unemployment had gone from 3.5 to 11.1%. I grew up in a family struggling for jobs, and so the most important thing I thought we ought to be focused on was how do we get families back to work. You can't put money into education, to the environment, anything you wanted to get, get done if you don't have jobs. As a family, you can't buy a house, buy a car, put food on the table without a job. So my whole focus was how do we get our state back to work? December's unemployment is 6.2%. That's the lowest since June 2008. Lowest since June 2008. This is the ninth straight month. We're below the national average in unemployment. We're way above the national average uh, three years ago. In the month of December, private companies added, like Aeroturbine, added 13,000 jobs. So that's outstanding. 13,000 jobs. In Three years we've gone from losing 800,000 jobs to private companies that added 462,000 jobs. So 462,000 families are back to work. Uh, families like mine growing up where they struggled for a job, back to work, and I can tell you, watching my father's face when his car got repossessed, it was much better when he got the car back than when he had a job again. We have workforce boards around the state. Jesse Panuccio, the director of the uh, Department of Economic Opportunity, is responsible for that. They helped 40,000 people get jobs uh, in the month of December. We have 285,000 job openings now in the state of Florida. So we're clearly leading the nation in making sure we're getting out of this recession by creating jobs, getting families back to work. So it's really now, there's additional great news. We're here at Aero Turbine for a reason. They're expanding their facilities. They're in a beautiful facility. Uh, they're creating jobs for Florida families. And it's more proof that in Florida, it's clearly worked. We worked last session to last legislative session to make sure we got more manufacturing jobs. And the way we did that, the state had a sales tax when a company would buy machinery and equipment. So last session we got rid of that. Uh, no longer we have to pay that tax. So we can get more manufacturing jobs in our state. Not only more tourism jobs, more shipping jobs to the ports, but also a lot more manufacturing jobs. So the legislature went along. It was a great day when we got rid of that tax. So congratulations to everybody. Who <laughs> Aerotrain manufactures, repairs, and warehouses aircraft engines and engine parts. There's a brand new engine that we saw right back there. They chose to expand in Miramar because they love South Florida. And by the way, if you watch the weather up north, you should call all your friends up north and say, hold on, let me turn down the air conditioning so you can hear me. <laughs> Not only no income tax and all these other good things, but the weather is so much better than up north, especially right now. But they are here because they saw great opportunities because they see that Florida is growing, especially South Florida. So I'm proud to announce today that Aero Turbine is going to add 75 more jobs and spend approximately a million dollars more in their facilities. So I want to thank everybody at Aero Turbine for this. <laughs> now, you know, when you talk about 75 jobs, 462,000 jobs, that sounds really nice, but it's always a person. It's always somebody's family that their life got changed because they got a job or a better job or a better paying job or something they like that. Rick Nagara has been a member of the Aero Turbine team for five years. He's the senior director of operations. He's responsible for the company's facilities. Did a good job here. Security and purchasing. He's known for going above and beyond his regular duties. It is not unusual to see Rick arriving to work early and leaving late. He believes that there is if there is there is a solution to every problem and always sees the good in others. He loves his job, and his dedication to his kindness is contagious throughout the country. Let's give a big round of applause. <laughs> Kelly Pasquale has worked with Aero Turbine for almost eight years. He began as a manager of aircraft acquisitions before moving up to a director of aircraft technical programs. He's now a senior director. 
an aero turbine. He's known as a great leader who's always willing to help any teammate who is in need of assistance. So congratulations on your success. We're going to build over the next few years, we're going to build the opportunity economy. So we're not just going to create all these jobs, we're going to create the jobs of the future. And that's what we're going to do. The one person I want to recognize today is Mike King. I always want to recognize people that are helping people get back to work. So 75 more jobs is a big deal. 75 families that get back to work change their lives. So this is the Governor's Business Ambassador Award. It's for individuals that are helping build jobs and helping families in our great state. Now it's my distinct pleasure to introduce your Lieutenant Governor, Carlos Lopez Cantera. Uh, Carlos, I had the opportunity to pick the Lieutenant Governor, and we announced that uh, a little over a week ago. It's hard to get this job every day, there's things happening. So, But Carlos is right here from South Florida. Uh, he was a majority leader in the Florida House of Representatives, very successful. He's a businessman. Uh, he's got a wonderful family. Uh, his wife, Renee, is wonderful. He's got two little girls. Uh, the six-year-old told me that he would do a good job, so I, that's why I should pick him. <laughs> Her name's Sabrina, uh, but he clearly cares about how do we make this the economy where everybody can get the job that they want. So, your Lieutenant Governor, Carlos Lopez Quintero. Good morning. So this is like my second week on the job, so forgive me if, uh, if I screw up. <laughs> but uh, it's great to be here today at Aero Turbine. And uh, I gotta say to the employees of Aero Turbine and the staff at Aero Turbine, I am envious that you guys get to work in such a cool facility like this. Uh, when we took our tour, we got to see you guys at the gym. You have uh, air conditioned workspace. I mean, this is a great place to work and I, I congratulate my team and the whole team here for everything that they've done. I'm excited to be the new Lieutenant Governor of Florida. Why? Because I remember what it was like before Governor Scott, as many of you remember, what it was like before he took office. The economy was in free fall, we lost over 800,000 jobs, the unemployment rate was at 11.1%. Now, three years later, under the leadership of Governor Scott, unemployment as he just announced, and you guys were the first to hear it, dropped to 6.2%. This governor cares. Like he said, that if you want to do something in this state, he's going to make it sure that you're able to do it. And we went from the second, ranked second, in the highest unemployment in, this, in the country, to now being second in the lowest, the biggest drop, and that's impressive. And that's, those are great results, and those are results that matter, because numbers don't lie. And the numbers are great, and they're going to get better here in Florida. And here at Aero Turbine, 75 new jobs, that's great. And I heard that the average salary for those jobs is over $48,000. That's a great salary, that's a great job, and uh, I'm just so happy to be here today. And I'm looking forward to what we're going to be doing this next legislative session. The top priority is to cut $500 million in taxes and put it back in your pockets. So I'm excited about being part of the team. I'm looking forward to the next five years working alongside Governor Scott and uh, making this state number one in everything going forward. So thank you very much. I'm now honored to introduce the, Broward, the mayor of Broward County and something very interesting about our mayor of Broward County. Um, we, our mayor changes every year and each mayor has a theme. Well, this mayor has decided to make this the year of business in Broward County. Small, large, doesn't matter, but the year of business in Broward County. I'm honored to introduce Mayor Barbara Sharif. This morning in Broward County is a great day because I have news for the governor. We're at 5.8% in Broward County. And uh, we could not have accomplished that without companies like Aero Turbine coming to Broward County. Uh, like the governor said, this company is going to bring 75 new high wage jobs to Broward County, and it's going to be in a high growth targeted industry. Aero Turbine, as part of the International Lease Finance Corporation, is part of one of the world's largest aircraft leasing companies. And we are pleased to have such an industry leader here in Broward County. We know that by choosing Broward County, Aero Turbine recognizes something that we already know, and that is that we are 
the leader in Fortune 500 companies coming to Broward County. And this is, this is the best place to grow a business, to grow your family, to have a job. We have the best quality of life here in Broward County. No offense to my governor, uh, Tallahassee has nothing on us. <laughs> And um, we are just wanting to say congratulations on behalf of the Board of the Broward County Commissioners and uh, to Mayor Mosley, the Economic Development Team of the City of Miramar, to the Broward County Office of Small Business and Economic Development, and to the Greater Fort Lauderdale Alliance for all the hard work and cooperation. It has really made a difference, and we are so proud to have them standing right here with us today. Thank you so much, and welcome, Errol Turbine, to Broward County. As the mayor said, it really is a, it's a, it's a team sport, and I think the collaborative model, um, and the collaborative model, that sounds subjective, but we have external validation. Not only is our unemployment as low as the mayor said, we've had the lowest unemployment of any urban county in the state of Florida for the consistent last 13, going into 14 months now. So it takes a team effort. We've certainly welcome Eric Turbine here. We're glad that the employees are here. I know some of you have relocated and do live in our wonderful city. We have been voted at least twice as one of the best places in the United States to live, work, and raise your families, and we hope you come and join us. As the governor has mentioned, he's the jobs governor. I consider myself the jobs commissioner. And, uh, job fair and with us today I, she wasn't recognized earlier but I'd like to recognize our HR director Natasha Hampton thank you for all you do we have our police chief and our fire chief and they're very instrumental in providing jobs we want to lead by example we don't just ask corporations to come in and hire from within our community we hire as well and that's why we show by example what we can do for our residents um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, as it was mentioned earlier, Mayor Mosley could not make it, and there's several other commissioners that are not here today. I'd like to mention them as well. Yvette Coburn was unavailable, as also Commissioner Barnes and Commissioner Messer. But they've been all instrumental in providing incentives to bring Aero Turban and other companies of this nature into our city. Can we give a round of applause to our It takes very special individuals who lead organizations and companies to create those jobs and actually provide a paycheck on a regular basis. And I'm very proud to be right here to introduce now Mr. Mike King, the CEO of Aero Turbine. Again, my name is Mike King. I'm the president and CEO of Aero Turbine, and welcome to the uh, the grand opening of our uh, brand new uh, worldwide headquarters. I'm incredibly proud to be in this position, standing before you this morning. At Aero Turbine, we talk a lot about marking milestones as we continue to write the history of Aero Turbine. And what a better way to start a new chapter than in this beautiful state-of-the-art facility in the wonderful community of Miramar in the great state of Florida. It was You know, it wasn't, it wasn't easy getting here, that's for sure. It, it, uh, it's been a truly rewarding, but also truly grueling 18-month process uh, as, we, uh, as we decided to, uh, to move headquarters from Miami-Dade. And I want to acknowledge Gary Failer. Gary, please stand up and just kind of... and without his tireless 24-hour-a-day drive and leadership effort, none of us would be here today. Gary had a lot of help in the process, for sure. It started with the city of Miramar and David Coddington with the Greater Fort Lauderdale Alliance. At the time, we really narrowed down our search for new headquarters down to two states, Florida and Texas. And I know that Governor Scott's got a, a friendly, a friendly <laughs> with, with Governor Perry, so they'll appreciate this over, over job creation. And through David and Gary's efforts working with the city of Miramar, we were able to put together an attractive incentive program to encourage us to stay in the state of Florida. 
But as Bob mentioned, it really wasn't about the incentives as much as it is what a great business friendly environment the state of Florida is, that the city of Miramar is. We've got solid fiscal tax policies. And at the same time, in South Florida, we have an incredibly highly skilled aerospace and aviation workplace. So we're, 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 we're very, very excited. So here we are. We're here, Governor Scott, you can put another win in the win column. Governor Carroll. You know, I also want to acknowledge the unbelievable support we've received from the city of Miramar. The permitting teams, the inspector process, they've all done such an unbelievable job of making this one of those most seamless moves that, uh, that any of us in our experience have ever imagined. From Mayor... From Mayor Lori uh, Mosley's office to the fire and police departments, I mean, I am I am humbled about how you guys have made us feel welcome to the community. And, and believe me, everybody at Arrow Durbin appreciates that. So thank you very much. <laughs> and, and also a big thank you to Mayor Barbara Sharif from the County of Broward, who also played such an incredibly integral role in this process. You know, since 2009, uh, you know, we've talked about it. Aero Turbine has added 67 jobs in the state of Florida with plans to add another 40 jobs in 2014. So as we finish 2014, we'll have over 200 employees here in the city of Miramar. You know, and as I reflect and think back, in, in, in 2006, Aero Turbine was a small engine leasing business with a single location in the city of Durrell. You know, flash forward to today, you know, we're a global leader in the aerospace markets and logistics place. While at the same time, we've increased our revenue fivefold, we've transacted in 86 different countries with the largest airlines and maintenance overhaul shops in the world. We've opened up a dozen domestic and international office locations, and we continue to build upon the aero turbine culture by hiring over 200 permanent and temporary workers, all with passion, heart, discipline, and dedicated to making the next chapter of the Aero Turbine story even more successful. And I can't think of a better place to accomplish that than in the wonderful community of Miramar, the fantastic county of Broward, and the great state of Florida. Thank you. I just got breaking news. Thank you, Mason. The unemployment rate in Broward County is now down to 5%. Okay. 